Buying or selling a property can already be stressful, no matter what your circumstances are. But if you need to do both simultaneously, it can escalate from stressful to an extremely daunting experience. You want to find the best offer for your current house while simultaneously having enough down payment for your new home. All of the while, the timelines need to match up so you are not left without a roof over your head. Hey, I'm Tristan Campanella, your local San Diego realtor, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you your options that you need to know before you buy and sell a property at the same time. Before you make any decisions, a real estate agent can give you a really good sense of what your house could list for right now and how likely it's going to sell quickly, any repairs you need to do, and all of those things. They're going to be able to gauge a timeline for you and build a step-by-step -step process that's going to make the most sense. So the things to consider when you're thinking about selling and buying at the same time are the following. You need to consider your financial situation. Do you have any equity in your house that you can pull out in order to buy? You could do a cash out refinance, you could do a HELOC loan. There's many options when you're looking at your financials. Another thing to consider is the condition of the house you own. Additionally, you need to think about your timeline and the equity of your current home. Understanding the timeline before buying and selling is incredibly important because of course you can be responsible for two mortgages and really, really stretch yourself financially, especially if something doesn't go according to plan. And because you're waiting to sell your current home, you typically can't use your equity to pay for the down payment on the new property, at least without taking an additional loan. But don't worry, there are some reasonable ways to go about this route. I'm gonna give you an overview today, but make sure you reach out to me anytime so you can get a little bit more information and details. So option one, you can buy your a home with a sales contingency. This is very dependent on where you buy your home. Oftentimes we're seeing no contingencies are being accepted. However, I'm seeing that the market is slowing down and I never sell a house without a contingency. Does that mean my offers don't get accepted? Nope, you're wrong. Almost all my offers get accepted because the seller of the house that you wanna buy wants to make sure you're gonna close escrow. And the easiest way for them to do that is to allow you to have a contingency or two in place. Now, having a contingency on the sale of your property can make things a little more challenging, but it is not unheard of in today's market. So that is one way that you can sell your house and buy a house at the same time. If you choose that direction, the, the strongest offer you can make is to make sure your house, you have a listing agreement and that your house is already on the market and ready to go when you are making offers. That shows that you are intending to sell the house and it shows that you are more along in that process. Another option to consider is a rent back on your home. So you would list your home and then ask whoever would like to buy it for a free rent back for you for up to 60, 90, or even 120 days. In today's competitive market, buyers are pretty much willing to do whatever it takes to secure that house. So that will now give you a very long time to be able to find your replacement property and secure that timeline for yourself. Another option to consider is a bridge loan. <clears throat> bridge loans are just very short term because they are relatively high interest. They're often secured with your current home and they can be used to fund the down payment on your new house. So if you don't, that would remove your contingency to sell your house when you're purchasing a house. Um, but you will be juggling a couple of mortgages and the loan is then repaid after selling your current home, usually within six months. If you'd like more information about that bridge loan, make sure you reach out to me. Okay, option four, this is a new one. The trade-in program. Only qualified agents can work with this program, so make sure your agent is qualified. This is a very low risk way to buy a home while selling your current one. The trade-in programs are many and they're coming more and more often. You'll get qualified with whatever trade-in program company um, for their program. Usually you'll be 
applying for a loan through them, and they'll make an offer on your current house and then help you figure out what you can afford to buy next. You'll make an offer on your new home, and when is your offer is accepted, the trading company will buy your current house for the agreed upon price. So you'll have the funds you need to close without having to take out a bridge loan or jump through any of the other hoops outlined above. You can move in on your own timeline. So the purchase of your property can be completed in a matter of days. It's basically like getting the ability to make a cash offer on a house. Um, the funds were already there. They're going to make it on your behalf and you're using your home as the equity for that purchase. You'll also get full market value when you list and sell your home and you will get proceeds if it goes above an ask over ask price. The upside remains that all of the amount that you agreed upon will be delivered to you and you can take the time to move out. Guys, be aware that these programs do charge a fee for their service, but for those of you who are nervous and want the peace of mind, it may be worth it. While this all may sound tricky and it has been done, I've done it a lot and being organized and working with a great agent and staying on the track on a timeline is going to make sure you have less stress when buying and selling at the same time. So thanks guys for watching and have a great day.